Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? Welcome to my Fallout 76 weekly challenges video series. So, basically, in these videos, I'm going to be covering how to complete the weekly challenges. Uh, in this video, we're covering the April 2nd to April 8th uh, video challenge. So, let's get on to the list and let's get our first achievement. Boo! <laughs> All right, so let's start off with the actual weekly challenges. And uh, before we do, I want to show you what weapon you get uh, for the current week, which is 2nd of April till the 8th of April, uh, survival mode challenge. So, and I gotta be honest, it was way easier than what I thought it would be. So this is what you get, medical malpractice revolver. That's pretty cool. 33% VATS hit chance, 25% less VATS action points cost, and VATS crit, uh, crits will heal you and your group. Now, that is cool. <laughs> uh, this is what we got from the previous uh, weekly challenge. Uh, crushing blow, 50% limb damage, and double damage if your target is full health. You gotta be honest, the previous one was way harder. We had to kill, I believe if I'm not mistaken, 25 legendaries uh, on the survival mode, right? So, uh, the challenge that we completed at the very start of the video was uh, the take photo at rally stations. So, those are very easy to find. I'll show you the easy ones because uh, if you're a low level, then you can do uh, this challenge with no problem. Uh, in Flatwoods, you have one rally tower over here, then one rally, tally, uh, rally tower over here. And if you scroll a little bit down, right next to the Charleston F uh, Police uh, Fire Department, you have another rally tower. Obviously, there are way more towers, uh, like one over here, and uh, there, there's one more over here. There's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Then uh, the next super easy uh, challenge, actually I would recommend doing it first, is claim the workshop in Berkeley Springs. So Berkeley Springs is located right over here. So that's the Berkeley Springs. You take this workbench and boom, you get your atoms. Now, so I would recommend to start off with this one right here, then go take your photos, then start with the complete events, but collaborate it with Get Smashed, because Get Smashed has uh, four challenges that you need to do, but uh, you need to do out of these four, three. So if you complete events using melee weapons while intoxicated. What this means is that you need to go to do your events, but make sure you drink beer before you end or any sort of al other alcohol in this game uh, before you actually end the uh, event. In this case, you'll get to complete this and this at the same time. So that is cool, very easy stuff, and very easy to do. What I found really hard to do was craft different types of alcohol. Because uh, for every single bottle, you need different ingredients, right? And I, I had a lot of sh uh, issues with sugar. I was running around, hey, can, can, can I buy some sugar, please? And nobody would give me any sugar. Plus, you know, like karma, whenever you need something, you just cannot find it. So you get to craft these. And obviously in order to craft the actual uh, brewing station and the fermenter, you will need to complete uh, Wasted by Nuka Shine, uh, which is the new DLC that was brought to us not very long time ago. And you can trigger it by visiting it any uh, stations, right? Uh, and over there you will have a party poster you read and then you just complete the event. And afterwards, once you complete it, uh, you will have dailies uh, in this location here, which I recommend you to do because this guy gives you good plants such as uh, uh, Greek letters, for example. This plant, I got it from uh, uh, doing those dailies. Oh, I have the insult bot here. What a douche, man. He keeps following me around. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the challenges. Now, the next from getting smashed, right? What else do we have here? Consume 76 alcohol. So you can either buy alcohol, craft alcohol, find alcohol, drink it as soon as you can. Drink 76 of them and you're done. Well, I did this one because I craft a lot of alcohol. I play a charismatic build which gives me more bonuses when I'm under alcohol effect. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the next one, destroy robots while intoxicated and wearing a beer hat. If you don't have a beer hat, it's not a problem. I have a video on how you can get it, or I'm just going to tell you, just go into Black Bear Lodge. Uh, you enter the building, turn left, or go all the way right, you'll see a small bar, and you'll see a beer hat right on the bar. So that's where you'll get your beer hat as well. Or just view my uh, video uh, in my outfits series and you will find a beer hat with no problem where I'll show you the exact location. Uh, now let's go back to the challenges. What else do we have there? Uh, getting smashed. Kill huge creatures while intoxicated. This one is very easy. I recommend to do this one. Uh, what you want to do is, well first of all, there are big creatures in Highland Marsh, uh, there's a uh, Mylar Queen, uh, same as in this one Mylar Queen, and they usually have this crown on top of their head. Sometimes this location spawns actually 3 star legendaries, so definitely work for a minute. But if you don't want to waste your time, and you want to do it really quick, then you'll just need to server hop 5 times. But you will need to go to the Abandoned Waste Dump. In the abundant waste dump, you will have two death claws. You drink your beer, you take them down, you server hop, you do that thing five times, and bam, you got it completed. So let's go back. Uh, and obviously, robots, the best location would be the Vatuga City. Oh, there's a queen going on, man. <laughs> I want to go. All right, so uh, you get your beer hat, you have your alcohol on you, drink the alcohol. Make sure you're wearing the beer hat and you run around this location and kill your robots. So that should cover it. I found, uh, as I said, the very difficult one was this one because I had to jump from one place to another to find the ingredients to craft all this thing. Uh, covered, 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 covered. And final one survival mode. Deal critical hits to enemies. Uh, basically, you don't have to kill the enemy with a critical hit, thank God. All you gotta do is just initiate the critical hit. Uh, how you do that is simple. Using your vasts. Where's the install bulb? Uh, so here we go. We have the bot, right? Uh, you initiate vast. You shoot him. You see that your critical hitter is going up. Like my one went up straight up. So now you click and hold space. And you shoot and you initiate the critical hit. That's calculated as one. So what I would do recommend you to do. That's going to be the super easy uh, way. Is... Take off all of your damage, like make your damage to its minimum, and go against the queens. So over there, you will be able to critical them like for a very long time, and uh, there are two queens, so you will be able to do that. But the problem is you can't fast travel to these things, so ah, that's another problem. Uh, how I did it, I just took over these two workshops. They gave me a three wave of uh, this one, if I remember correctly, Super Mutants, and this one was uh, something else. I don't remember. It was some beasts. So basically, while I completed these two events with three waves, I've completed my challenge within like 15, 20 minutes. That was, as I said, this was the easiest one. And obviously, as soon as you complete complete it, you get your pistol. <laughs> there we go. So, I hope you found this video useful. I managed to cover, I believe, all of them. This was my first time doing the weekly challenges. I do apologize for the delay. I, on Tuesday, I had some other stuff to do. I was doing the ultimate lead uh, guide, which actually turned out to be long. And it was way difficult for me to make than what I expected. But it turned, I mean, it's useful. So if you want to take a look at it, just uh, go to my guide playlist and you will have it there. Uh, then uh, on yesterday I felt a little bit bad after playing so I was not able to montage this and I had to redo it because going into details uh, like showing you the actual places it's uh, making the video very long you know I want to keep it simple here just to explain what you need to do how you do it where you can do it uh, so here's my question to you would you like me to make the sort of short video options weekly for the weekly challenges or would you like me to make it detailed, like showing you where you can find beer heads, showing you where you can kill the dudes and the actual dudes, uh, showing you little tips and tricks, like for example, killing robots in White Springs will speed up the process of completing that event, but 
Uh, I still recommend doing it in Vatoga because Vatoga can spawn legendaries for you. So I still recommend that one. So uh, here I'd like your feedback and these are going to be my new sort of weekly series for the weekly challenges. If you have any other bright ideas, because this idea was give, provided to me by one of the Z Clan members a couple some time ago. And I only now start to deliver these. So expect one video on challenges every week. So if you want to stay put, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, leave your comments, because I always get back to your comments, and smash that like. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope this video helped you out, you have a good morning, day, and night, whatever you guys like it at, and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, if you have subscribed, welcome to Z Clan, and I'm Gamers Z Hall, and sign out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one more thing. If you want to help the channel grow, feel free to share the video somewhere on the media, such as Twitter or Facebook. And now I'm out. Bye. <laughs>